Steiner, point leader on the inside. Oh, we got a spin. Hornaday loses control of his truck. Hornaday into the inside wall on the back stretch. Minimal contact, though. Caution is out for Hornaday. We got the nose. But I don't know how bad. Sixth caution of the I, night. It looked like he had some sort of a problem. Early on, he was not, it didn't look like he was comfortable in that truck. And he got sideways a few times in the turns. A lot in the wrong position. A lot of times when you're on the race track with hot tires, you pick up a lot of the rubber and the debris, and you have it takes a while to get that stuff off the tires, but it looked like his his truck never came around. It, look, it looks like minimal damage to the front of that truck. Let's look back a lap before this accident and see if we can see what all happened to Ron. There he goes. This is when he, he gets loose right there. He has to chase it up the hill. David Starr gives him a break and didn't make it three wide. And there he is on the inside of the Oh, he makes contact with Mario Goslin. That's what happened. That's why he went around. Ron just went up the racetrack a little bit high. Mario Goslin was there. That's the third truck we've seen spin just trying to run underneath of another truck. You can see his truck gets a little bit high off. There's the contact and around he goes. And that, that little touch was all it took to turn that nose of that truck to the left and spin him out. He'll come to pit road and work on the front of that number 33 tied Chevy, but I don't believe there's enough damage there that'll hamper him a great deal. His fender isn't tore up obviously anything like Austin Dillon, so maybe they can just pull on that thing a little bit, put some new tires on it, and he can go back to action. The Buddy Hermes saddle right in front of Ron Hornaday. Already six cautions in this race. That's the how record. many we had all, all race last year.